Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Chivostic's sign. This sign is elicited by tapping on the patient's cheek at a point anterior to the ear and just below the zygomatic bone, to stimulate the facial nerve. This results in twitching of the ipsilateral facial muscles. It is suggestive of latent tetany and increased neuromuscular excitability. The conditions associated with this sign are hypocalcemia and hypomagnesemia. Hypocalcemia can be due to many causes, such as hypoparathyroidism, low vitamin D pseudohypoparathyroidism, pancreatitis, and hyperventilation or respiratory alkalosis. The main mechanism is due to increase in neuronal excitability. One of the main causes is hypocalcemia. Calcium is needed to maintain normal neuronal membrane permeability, by acting on, and blocking sodium channels, on the neuronal membrane. If extracellular calcium is low, the sodium channels are more permeable. As more sodium enters the cell, the cell becomes less polarized and is more easily stimulated to reach action potential. Another condition is due to respiratory alkalosis or hyperventilation. Respiratory alkalosis and hyperventilation result in less active ionized calcium. It is the decrease in ionized calcium that causes increased excitability. Respiratory alkalosis most often occurs due to hyperventilation. When a patient hyperventilates, they blow off carbon dioxide. The alteration in carbon dioxide shifts the Henderson-Hasselbach equation in favor of carbon dioxide production, in order to replace losses. This causes a drop in circulating hydrogen ions. The amount of calcium that is free and ionized is heavily dependent on serum pH. When the pH is high, more calcium binds to proteins, making less active calcium available in the extracellular fluid for regular processes, such as blocking sodium channels and maintaining membrane stability thus causing neuronal excitability. For hypomagnesemia, how hypomagnesemia causes tetany is not well understood. It is clear that magnesium is essential for maintaining ion channels and transporters in excitable tissues. Magnesium influences a number of cellular processes, including sodium ATP as activity, blocking potassium channels on cells. Low magnesium inhibits parathyroid hormone and can lead to hypocalcemia, which can contribute to tetany. For sign value, the specificity of the test is low, as up to 25% of patients with normal calcium levels may exhibit the sign. Furthermore, 29% of patients with hypocalcemia did not exhibit it. Hence, there is limited sign value. That's all for this video. Thank you.